Hi everybody, welcome back to the stream. I'm starting a brand new game today. We finished Fatal Frame 2 last week and now I'm starting on Fatal Frame 3, The Tormented. Someone at parks, but of course, just wear another cute outfit. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Oh, no. Should we get going? I heard this house was haunted. Too bad it's not. Mm. Rumors are just rumors. I'm gonna load these up. That's Miku? I thought it was... Her name is Ray. Oh, that's the guy in the car, I think. You? Oh, it is. Oh. Don't follow him. Your outfit changed. Where am I? Wait, I thought I put subtitles on. the wrong buttons. Okay. Oh, you can? So that's like a kind of like a treat if you're for a replay then? Guess you should have been complaining that the house wasn't haunted, huh? Oh, I don't have a camera. more sense. Okay. Oh, he's gone now. I wonder why they changed it. Huh. 
lá. I missed my chance to take a photo. Where am I going? Can I climb up here? Wait, is this like the action button then? No. I gotta get used to that button. <laughs> Come on, this way. Let's follow them. Because I think that's what they want me to do. That's right. Hey, Nico. How's it going? We're back in a spooky house. Ready to take some pictures of some ghosts really badly. <laughs> I'm, I'm too freaking slow. I can't seem to get a picture of anybody. <sighs> uh. Whoops. I can't? Oh, okay. I'm, all, I'm almost dead already. <laughs> Great. Oh, fuck! Oh. <laughs> of course I go into the room, there's no escape. Why are you so mad? What did I do to you? Oh, there's you. Hey, you. Let's see if I can find some herbal medicine already. Oh my god. If we don't. All right, I got some points. Oh boy. Holy shit, how did I get 51 viewers? What, what's happening tonight? <laughs> Hi everybody. <laughs> I look over expecting the three I usually have. I guess so. I thought Fatal Frame 2 was the uh, was the popular one. I'm actually really surprised. Oh, let's see. I better shut up.
Oh, this ritual does not look nice. Mm. Wow, okay. That's me. Are you okay? It was nothing. If you tell her, she'll understand. She went through some shit, too. Oh, you did get a ghost. Let's hope I get my health back. <laughs> it, it seems so. <laughs> I was kind of thinking the same thing, like, okay, no pillow, no sheets. All right, hour one, the sign. So is she going back to this haunted place in her dreams? Is a little confused so far, but I'm sure it will explain itself. Oh, great. <laughs> you guys know how great I'm at stealth. I'm not. So, wait, if that's... How do I get to the map? Oh! Okay, it's this button. Okay, it's this one. Okay, it's the left trigger. Oh, I guess I didn't get it.
Oh wait, do I not have to worry about Phil? Oh, maybe because I don't have the um, the special camera yet. Ghost like, use this camera. Zoom's gonna work like the other one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pretty much the same, except now the, I guess, triangle button brings the camera. Oh, look! And I have film. Okay. everybody's Monday going. Wow, it's taking a long time to create a play data. There we go. Oh, wait. I'm back in this room. Let me make sure there wasn't anything upstairs. Besides the camera, I mean. Just a little... Oh, there's a door. What was that noise? There's that noise again. Oh. Must be coming from a different room. Peephole has been opened in the wall. The sound seems to be coming from there. Alright, let's look through it. Oh, she's like... Oh, was I supposed to- Oh shit, I was supposed to take a picture. Here, let me- let me reload my game. Let me redo that. Um... Wait, how do I- Our, our color theme for this game is blue. Pretty cool. I do appreciate how unique all the main characters' outfits usually are in this game. They're very distinctive. He has like a little like corset looking top. Very fashionable. Okay, let's do a quick... Can I 
not do quick save? I can learn to understand Oops. you much better if I can get familiar with the way you talk. I didn't mean to hit that button. <laughs> okay. One. There we go. All right. So let's do this. I don't know what I hit, but um, the what you would call it on Windows 10 started going. <laughs> How do I exit? No, that's not exiting. I'm wasting film, Jesus. It won't let me get out of this view. Am I supposed to see something else? I feel like an idiot. I'm like hitting every button here and it won't let me leave this view. Oh, there we go. Nope. Okay. I'm an idiot. I forgot I had to exit out of two views. Because I was used to, like, in the other other game, you just had to hit the camera button again. Wow. But I forgot I was also peeping through a hole at the same time, so I had to get out of that one, too. Am I going in a circle? Yes. Can I get in here? Film my um, film? No, I guess not. Ugh. Too slow. Where did he go? <laughs> That's gotta be creepy. Oh yay, battle. Let's save it.
I did no such thing. I guess I didn't have to fight the little girl. Okay. Um. Guess go back to that door. Her, her foot. Oh, okay. woman had a great good idea to run away. Rage is like, I'm gonna just back into a wall. Bring up your camera. sleeping on top of her sheets? I just had a bad dream. Oh, 
interesting. So we're gonna kind of hop between normal and spooky house. Okay. Yeah. During the course of the game, when you find new information, it will be recorded in the notebook. When there is a new entry in the notebook, the title will appear in the top right. You can access the notebook, blah 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 blah. Okay. The bruise appears. I felt a sharp pain in my shoulders when I woke up. For a moment, I thought I could see some kind of bruise on my skin. But when I looked again, there was nothing there. Was it a dream? Oh. The abandoned house. I wasn't motivated enough to find out much about the place before I went. About all I knew was that it was supposed to be haunted. What was behind the strange daydream vision I had in the house in the snow? Was I just worn out, still scarred by the accident? Or are the rumors true? Was he really there? Oh, oops. The manner of sleep. The ruined house I wandered in my dream the night I got back after my vision on that assignment. Something about it remind, reminded me of the haunted house where I saw you. It seemed too real to be a dream. Daydreams, visions, maybe I'm just tired. Okay. You, I, a so? I don't know how to say. My fiance. He was an editor who worked on books of folklore, philosophy, and anthropology. We met as students. He was the opposite of me in every way. Quiet and kind, like gently falling rain like a soft shower that washes everything clean. He passed away two months ago in an accident caused by my careless driving. Oh. And here's our protagonist of Fatal Frame 1, Miku Hanazaki. Miku Hanazaki, younger sister of Yu's best friend. She lives with me now and works as my assistant. I haven't met her brother. Well, her brother is now living with a ghost, so I don't think you would. You told me she had a lost relative in an accident. She helps me out in all kinds of ways, not just with work. She's cheerful and hardworking. I like the kitty cat. If not for her, I don't know how I would have made it through after you passed away. Tattooed woman. The woman who appeared in my dream of the manor. Her whole body covered in a blue tattoo. She came closer and I ran away before I knew what was happening. All I remember is an intense fear. I can still feel her cold stabbing fingers on, my, on the back of my shoulder where she touched me. It's hard to believe it was only a dream. And Mother and daughter. The mother and child who appeared in my dream in old fashioned kimonos. They were looking for someone, calling out in sad voices to him. Who could they be? Huh. Alright. I keep my photo books and newspapers. Miko bought most of the photography books for me. She has a good eye for these things, but most of them I have hardly even glanced at. On the shelf is a camera I never use anymore. I used to enjoy this ca uh, sorry. I used to enjoy using this camera back in the days when I used to take pictures for fun. Oh, whoops. On top of the desk are the scented candles Miku made for me. Oh. I guess I shouldn't have tried to... Oh well. On the desk are a sketchbook and an appointment book Miku made for me to keep track of all my work assignments. Squeezed into the corner of the page is a handwritten warning. Don't work too hard. Maybe I have been working too hard since that day. But that's the way I prefer it right, prefer it right now. 
All right. She's a workaholic at the moment. Hey, going all right. Just got started. What, does Miku, is she your maid too? <laughs> Pieces of my work are pinned up on the wall. There are more scenery shots now than there used to be. Don't feel ready yet for projects that involve taking pictures of people. Uh, it's worth checking on your house whenever you come back because there's various events here. Oh, okay, I will. So kind of like the hauntings in Silent Hill 4. <clears throat> cool, I will. Good morning, Ray. Hi, Miku. Okay, I wanted to see Miku's room, but I guess not. Use room. Ever since the accident, I try not to come in here unless I have a good reason. I think so? When did this come out? Let's see. Trying to look up the date in the manual. I think it might. Where's the copyright? Okay, let me look at the back of the ink. You know what? I could just type it in Google. It's after. It's July 28th, 2005 was when it was released. Okay. Were you standing in there the whole time? <laughs> Good morning, Ray. It looks like it's going to rain all day today, too. You don't have to work so much this week, so why don't you try to? So why don't you try to relax? Ray, you've been work. Oh, she's still talking. You've been working too much lately. You were woken up by a bad dream this morning. Not to mention what happened when we were out collecting data the other day. Anyway, let's try to take it easy today. Okay. That reminds me, there was a letter. It's addressed to you. From Kay. Okay. Uh, dear you, sorry for not writing for so long. How are things with your fiancé? I guess they don't know that, that he's dead. I'm continuing my investigation of the urban legend. Like I thought, my niece's symptoms bear many similarities to the strange disease associated with the urban legend. I think most of the story is groundless rumor, but I heard that there was a psychiatric study done. If you have it, I'd like to see it. Maybe it will provide a clue. I'm taking a break from all from all my other work to devote myself to studying the urban legend. I'd like your help. According to the documents I've studied, the camera I sent you is apparently a rare camera obscura. Given where I found it, it may have some connection to the missing people in the urban legend. If you hear anything, please tell me regards K. Amakura. Written several times before. Have you still not told them about you? Or Obscura. That's kind of weird. He wouldn't tell his friends that he died. Where's the kitty cat? Oh, 
Or maybe it's a dog. I don't know. We decided against having a TV in our rooms and bought a bigger one for the living room instead. I hardly watch it at all these days. Outside the window is a small garden. A light drizzle has been falling for several days now. It's been some time since I last tended the garden. Okay, I guess I will check out the kitchen. Suck the refrigerator door on my work schedule, a calendar with supermarket discount days marked on it, and post-it notes with receipts. Oh, sorry, not receipts. Recipes on them. Miku cooks all the meals. She seems to enjoy doing chores around the house. I don't know what I'd do without her, really. From here, you can look across the counter and see the whole of the living room. A real mom's eye view. Okay, it's a weird thing to say. Okay. Is this the front door? That's the front door. Is that the cat? Can I? Oh, I can take a picture. Kitty cat. Hmm. Mirror selfie. Is this like the second game where you'll get points sometimes for some random stuff you take pictures of? Okay. Okay. And we'll try to take pictures of things. A clothes chest that Miku brought with her from home. Inside are Miku's kimonos and the funeral mourning that I have worn just once. Oh, we got a shrine. Altar. Use altar. You. I gotta say, this is a nice change of pace, uh, not just being in a spooky, old, rundown house. Okay, let's go uh, upstairs and... Oh, this is her uh, development room. Oh, okay. I thought the camera obscura was like a Polaroid. At least it seemed to be in the other games. Okay. Uh, where's the door? We can't go over there. Hey, 
I can take your photo? Say cheese. No points. <laughs> Look at the laptop. Oh, maybe it's a typewriter. Ray, may I help you with something? Oh, I just wanted to ask you. Maybe a word processing machine. This is still set in the 80s, right? So they were personal computers. Mm hmm. Oh, whoops. Dear you, during my research on the manner of sleep, ur urban legend, I finally made it to a certain deserted village lost even from the map. I found this camera in a huge abandoned house near that village. My niece Mio, when, oh, so this is a connection to Fatal Frame 2. My niece Mio, when Mayu disappeared, she caused you a lot of trouble, so you probably remember her. Saw this camera, she was scared stiff. I wonder if it reminded her of the unspeakable incident. For now, I'd like you to take care of the camera. You know about the antiques, so you can look over it for me. I don't think you'll be able to reach me for a bit, but I'll contact you, so let me know what you find then. Regards. Okay. Oh. Musty film. All right, I guess we'll go try to develop these to film. So I like his little collection here of, of old technology here. Not quite impressive enough to be called antiques. I don't know, I'd call it an antique radio. I still have no idea what made him want to collect them. I seem to remember him telling me about it once or twice, but maybe I wasn't really listening properly. I don't know, they look pretty cool. Alright, let's check out his desk. There are typed and handwritten letters on the desk along with several books. I have hardly touched anything in here since that day. I just can't bring myself to tidy everything away. There's a notebook left out on top of the desk. Perhaps somebody was in the middle of working. On the urban legend. Many of the urban legends classified as lost village are modeled on real incidents, such as a village was ruined when one villager massacred the others. They are often an amalgamation, wow, I can't say that word, of well-known actual incidents, legend and oral tradition. <clears throat> Settings such as the isolated mountain village or bygone customs, like night trysts or ceremonies, often act to trigger the incidents themselves, and these in turn become the motif for urban legends. The region. 
The reason for the popularity of urban legends may lie in the notion of the view of the country from the city, or the modern bias towards the ancient. To people in the modern city, the village is the wilderness, and those who live there are different. Perhaps that scorn or fear finds expression in the urban legend. For that reason, the setting of the legend must be the isolated mountain village. Further, bygone customs are attractive elements that end up acting to, to provoke the incident. As a case in point, there's a story about an area around the Min Min Minakama Dam, oh, Fatal Frame 2, where Mayu went missing. The Lost Village. In the mountains of the Minakami area, there was once a massacre in a so-called lost village. Years ago, on the night of a certain festival, there was a great massacre, and the village disappeared from the map. Only one woman survived. That was, uh, shoot, I, I just forgot the name. It was Sae and, um, Yae, right? Yae was the one who survived. If you walk in the forest where the village once lay, there is a small guardian statue, and if you continue, you will come to the shrine gate that forms the entrance to the village. If you should pass through the gate, you will never return. The night of the massacre continues in this village where day will never again break, and a woman's horrific laugh rings throughout the village. Well, not anymore because we, we completed the ceremony. Next, we have the Manor of Bizarre Murders, where the same tragedy recurs. Its scale is smaller, but generally speaking, it resembles the pattern of the village as it is made up of elements based on true incidents. Below is an example of this. It has to do with... Oh, this is the first game. All right, Ma Fuyu's disappearance. House, the House of Mutilation. Ooh, is this where I'm going now? In the mountain area of Himuro, there remains a manor where years ago there was said to be a massacre. There's always been vanishings in the nearby forest, and many of the spirited away are said to end up in the manor. Their corpses have been found with both hands, legs, and heads severed off. One more example is a seemingly related manner of sleep. Oh, that must be where I'm, I go in my dream. Urban legend that I'm researching now. The manner of sleep legend was picked up in various magazines in the 1960s, but incidents with very similar characteristics can be found here and there in older media. This newspaper is from the early 1900s, and there is no relation to when the Manor of Sleep legend was taken up, but the background of the spirited aways and those people's later conditions bear many similarities to the Manor of Sleep urban legend. I'm still investigating, but these incidents may trace back to the 19th century, and I have seen legends in several folklore books that may have become the basis for the Manor of Sleep. That was a long note. <laughs> this is what okay, he was asked to investigate. You add a well-organized notebook on urban legends to your file. Oh, okay. Well, let's um, search. Oh, an old newspaper. Oh, this must be the, the paper from the 1900s. A series of vanishings across region. According to sources, before dawn yesterday, a mother and daughter who live in the Myojin village went missing. The missing are Makai Make <laughs> Kuzuhara and her daughter Kozui, Kozui, uh, Kozui, I don't know. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce many of these names. Since last year, the two have been searching for Kuzuhara's missing husband. The two reportedly wandered the mountains nearly every day. Oh, so this must be the two in my dream. The informant says, I hadn't seen them for several days, so I went to visit them. There was no answer, so I went inside, but they were gone. I only saw some black suit-like marks. Similar disappearances are being reported across the area, and some are calling them spirited aways. A 
Okay, was there any other little notes? So is this a, a word processor machine? Oh, oops. It must be, or like a type, a uh, fancy typewriter. Okay. Book occultism. Oh, okay. Good thing I looked here. Okay. The camera obscura is a device used to capture the other world. Made by occultist Kunihiko Azu from the 19th to early 20th century. He tried to communicate with and get proof of this other world. The term occultist refers to people involved in the movement to verify Eastern thought using contemporary Western technology. Kunihiku Azu is a prime example of such an occultist. The camera obscura was one of his quintessential experiments. He modified the, at the time, still rare camera by adding a special lens and film. Yeah, so the first one had the a uh, spirit mirror or something that was in there? Or was it the second game? Can't remember. One of them. It was supposed to capture unbelievable things normally invisible to the naked eye, like a so-called different phase interval in spirits and ghosts. They are very rare nowadays, but apparently these cameras are still traded among curio dealers. Most have been broken, and we have lost the chance to see the other world, as well as Azu's achievement for eternity. No, I have one. Okay. Let me check in here. Did they just move into this place? There seems to be. Oops. Okay. Did not mean to click that through that so fast. I'm really sorry. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so let's go and develop the musty photos. Or film. Is Miku just... She's just still standing in the same spot. Hey, you want to see the camera I found? Oh, wait, this is still... Is this my normal camera? Can't tell. Okay. Did she use... Okay, no reaction. Oh, this is the altar room. Okay, an old roll of film. Blah, blah, blah. All right, let's try it. Well, that's creepy. Your photos from your dreams are coming to the real world. Maybe if I investigate this woman, I can find something else. Okay. Might be a little bit hard, given that this is the 80s. Hey, do you know this lady? Miku, about the woman in this picture, 
I was wondering if I could get you to try and find out as much as you can. Oh, so your 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 way of research is pawning it off on your assistant. Okay. <laughs> anything is fine. You don't even have a name for her or anything. You just got this photo. Yes, well, this is a very old picture, so I found it at I found it in Yu's room. It's okay if you can't find anything out. There was just something about her. Understood. I'll let you know if I find anything. Why isn't that subtitled? We show the photos. Sometimes you can ask her to... Okay. Cool. We'll do. Okay. Yeah, so let's save our game. That's so odd. I wonder why. I wonder if it's maybe an error on the dev's side or what? Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and see if I can see anything spooky at night. Okay, okay, okay. I'll go in the room. See, this is a really nice house. Very large. I wonder if Miku is already able to find something. That was covered on here is gone. I wonder what it was. Maybe some bread or something. Okay. Uh, is Kitty still out in the main hall? Oh, can we pet the cat? I wonder. That'd be fun. Oh, it's my normal camera. Okay. Oh yeah, my camera obscura is the save point, so she wouldn't be carrying that around with her. Oh, okay. Well, oh, hi kitty. <gasps> oh, come on. We could add a little animation, have her just pet the, the head. Oh, it's too bad. See, take a picture. Okay. Oh, well, nothing seems spooky. All right, let's go to bed. Oh, whoops, that's my. Dark room. Oh, oops. Alright, 
We're back. This dream again. Okay. Oh, it's locked. slow. Oh, I guess I should follow the lady. I assume that's the woman from before. Something over there. Memo in shaky hand. It's not my fault. I didn't choose. To... Yeah, that's the lady from before. sound come from. Was that upstairs? Did I miss a door? Oh. The woman whose image appeared on the film from inside the camera obscura. No doubt about it. It was the same woman I saw inside the manor in my dream. Just like with you that time. A scholar of the occult who lived in the second half of the 19th century. Oh, no photo of him. And this is the friend. I've never met him personally, but he was a friend of you. He used to write from time to time. You seem to have known lots of people, both professionally and privately. According to the letter, he and you were doing research into urban legends. Maybe the camera obscura was somehow connected with that. I should tell him about the accident. Yeah, you should. Give him a call. According to the notebook left on his desk, you was doing some research for K. Amakura. His notes are full of accounts of old urban legends and newspaper clippings about disappearances and people who were spirited away. Um, these articles just the... Okay. I actually wanted the map. Oh, there is a door. slow. Let 
me take your picture. Get some points. Yes, we are in the dream zone now. I'm chasing after the uh the woman who's guilty about surviving something. Thank you for subscribing, Sane Retry. Okay, I think I have to go back downstairs. in here? Hmm. Maybe it's on the other side? stairs so I guess oh that must be a different stairway okay. unless I'm supposed to take a picture here the stairway. Okay, I guess I'm in the wrong spot. Maybe it's supposed to be these stairs. Oh, yes. See red. So there must be a ghost or something. Attacked by ghosts, the top part of the viewfinder may flash red and an alarm will ring. This is this instance is more powerful shutter chance, the fatal frame. Okay, I do know about this. You take another shot while the ghost is being repelled back. Oh, combo. Alright. Do I need to equip that? yet to upgrade my camera. 
Oh, ooh, hello. You painting? That was the thing I needed to do to unlock the door. Oh, there's another little door here. Oh, we're gonna have to find a lot of keys. Oh, whoops. Let me check out the file. That's what I was looking for, the notebook. In the storage space under the stairs was a small locked door. A low, mournful moaning was coming from inside. What could be in there? I don't know, but we'll probably find out later when I find a key. <laughs> yeah, this, this combat seems very similar to, to uh, 2 so far, except for the button change for bringing up the camera. Stone slate on the door. Okay, can't open this yet. quick enough. Thank you. 
I'm not so surprised I haven't gotten hit yet. Oh, there she is right there. Oh, I think I need to get closer. I've gotten closer. Oh well. In the bedding laid out on the floor is a bulge the size of a person. Oh, I wonder if that's the person she's uh, upset that she survived and they didn't. Oh, that would have been a perfect chance to give me some herbal medicine. Alright, let's talk to this lady. Hey! Burnt passport. Surname? Taki Gawa? Given name Yoshi. Nationality Japan. Registered domicile Shizuka. Can we uh, try calling out her name? Okay. It's hard to hear, I Pick think. me up. Wake her up? I didn't do anything wrong. Why? I wonder why that wasn't subtitled. Yeah, it does look pretty cool. The pain flared up again after my dream of the empty house. 
Since the vision I had that day, I keep seeing the house in my dreams. The pain I felt when the tattooed woman touched me, the bruise. It's funny that she keeps saying it's a bruise. I know there's like bruising, but I would think the tattoo itself would be more, more noticeable. I think it's a dragon. The dream, the house, are they connected to you somehow? Or am I just tired? Her name was written on the charred passport. All right. Oh, what's that? Oops. What's ghost list? I think that's new. Oh, we gotta collect them all. I haven't. Sh oh, are these ghosts I find in my house? Maybe. She's probably safe. Dear Ray, I've gone out to do some research on the woman from the other day. I'll be back later this evening. Make sure to eat breakfast, okay? In a dish on the kitchen counter, a breakfast of perfectly made rice balls have been prepared. That was nice. Ooh, kitty! Can we eat the breakfast? I guess not. Okay. Uh... Hello? Ray, it's Miku. I was able to get the name and address of the, wow, you're you're a great detective. <laughs> the woman in the photo. I mean, she didn't even have a name. <laughs> Yoshino uh, Takagawa. She's the only survivor of a plane crash that happened the other day. Oh, jeez. I knew I'd seen her before, and it all came together when I asked one of the editors. It seems that she's still being hospitalized. I'll tell you the location. Oh, she's stuck in the dream world then. Okay. So we gotta wake her up. I heard from the hospital that she's been asleep for a long time, and no one has been able to wake her. We're going to lots of places in this game. Me up before you go, go. 
myself. Okay. Oh no! I don't want to be anymore. She's getting the bruising tattoo stuff too. <gasps> she disappeared. <gasps> Great, they're gonna think you kidnapped her. You're the last person who saw her. <gasps> that doesn't bode well for you. Did you go to the hospital? Mm-hmm. She just kind of disappeared on me. Yoshino Takagawa, it's definitely the same woman I saw in the dream manor. The sole survivor of a plane crash, she slept constantly in the hospital after the accident, till the day she disappeared in front of my eyes. A blue pattern appeared on her body the instant before she vanished. What was it? Is it connected to the woman in my dream? And if so, how screwed am I? Uh, I guess, I assume Miku went to bed, but let me just double check. Oh, wow, she's still up, hey. Ray? Are you having trouble sleeping? I wonder what happened to her. They just said she disappeared on TV. <laughs> you should ask Ray. She was there. <laughs> Ray, you saw her just before it happened, but did you happen to know something about her? No. Oh, hey, good day. How's it going? Good. Uh, Maybe there's a note or something about her in Yu's room? Let's try there. Nope, doesn't look like anything. Alrighty, let's go back to the dream house. It is the third game in the Fatal Frame series. It is supposed to be spooky. But it's very uh, different from the other two because we're jumping between both the real world and uh, a spooky dream world. Oh, 
Okay, so I wonder if she's even still alive in here. Is that her hiding in the closet? Okay, it's a doll. There she is. Those are kind of creepy, wow. Come on, dude. Oh. Moo, I didn't get up. 
Oh, wow. Okay. I should just start taking photos and not wait for the... Hitting the button. Stay back. Stay back. I know I can't do that. Oh, I didn't let it charge enough. That's probably why. Stay back. Oh no! Too soon. I guess she's dead now. Scrolling. I saw the bruise clearly when I woke. The pain is worse than yesterday. The bruise is spreading. A spreading bruise. Yoshino Takagawa had a bruise like this before she before she vanished. Was she in the dream too? Was she having these same dreams? The bruise. Excuse me. The bruise. The dreams. What do they mean? Yeah, but she didn't have a camera like you do. See if uh, Miku made me breakfast again.
Hey, Ray, this, this is Yoshino's Takako. How did you get that? They asked me to take care of it at the hospital since her family were all killed in the accident. Hey, random stranger, please take her personal effects. I didn't seem to feel comfortable keeping it around the hospital. Was I right to accept it? Yeah. Okay. August 10th, Sunny. I heard it's good for the heart to write in a diary and have someone read it. By doing this, maybe I will stop seeing that terrible dream. I'm sad being all alone. If I can have someone read this in some way, maybe I will connect with them. Not really a diary, then. <sighs> 11th, Cloudy. My family in Nyoya died, but being alone is more frightening than ever. That, Sorry. But being alone is more frightening than even that harsh fact. More than the accident itself, being the only one living afterwards, waiting endlessly, that was more frightening. Left all alone in the total darkness. A sweltering night, but freezing cold. I had a nasty dream. Snow fell on an old abandoned house. I'm all alone and lost, but they might all be in the house. I can meet them. I sense that. If I go in, I can meet them. They're calling me, but if I go in, I might not be able to return. But if that's what he wants... Bit by bit, I go in deeper. I'm cold. It's getting dark. I can hear a song. Nayo's in there, mom, dad, everyone, besides me, all in there. They all left me behind, left me and went in, because only I survived. Rain. It's painful. Is the pain the dream? The tattoo spritz. The doctor says he can't see anything. Overseas, they apparently call emotional trauma after an accident like this PTSD. But I can see it. Rainy. After, oh, there's no date to that. After sleeping several days, I'm only half awake. Gradually, I come not to know whether I'm awake or asleep. The doctor seemed interested when he listened to my story. Maybe he is becoming more sympathetic. But that dream and the pain are mine alone. The pain is spreading. Rainy, not sure. Am I to blame since I'm the only one who survived? But it's not like I chose to survive. It hurts, it hurts, it hurts. What should I do? What? Forgive me. The woman is coming after me. I can see her even when I'm awake. I can't take being touched again. I don't want to see anymore. Oh, okay. Huh. About the photo you gave me. Oh, it's in color now. There are marks on her. Don't you think they look like tattoos? Yeah. The woman who appeared in my dream of the manor, her whole body covered in a blue tattoo. Shina Takagawa and the woman who attacked me in my dream both had the same tattoo. And now the same pattern is spreading across my body ever since she touched me in that dream. The dream, the bruise, the manner, are they all connect are they all somehow connected to her? Yeah, Okay, there you are, guys. So does the manor learn people who who's really guilt uh, have survivor's guilt and show them their loved ones going into the house to trap them there? Okay. 
She left something. Arrow two. Oh, I don't remember where that door is. Guess we'll just try every door. button. Keep hitting the uh, old camera button. What? Oh, keep getting guys in the walls. Back to the larger room. I give it more of a chance to <laughs> get you guys before you attack me. This black ghost are actually the creepy. More so than the other ones I fought in the previous games. Because they look very menacing. Because they don't look really um human. Ah We have to just kill them. Ooh, they're all three. <gasps> oh no. Oh, wait a minute. Did I just go back way too far? Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> Make sure to do a quick save right before the battle. <laughs> yeah, we might need some uh, swords of obedience here. 
get a handle on these ghosts. Maybe I had to get really up close to her, like the final boss in um, the Divine 2. Okay, I should stop doing that. It's not working. Didn't get any zero shots though, which is disappointing. Alrighty, so let's find uh, the door the key goes to. Okay. There's a door here. Oh, that's not a door. Yes, it's a wall. Oh, was I just supposed to take a picture of the shadow? as a hand. Okay. That's hard to see, so I guess I have to take that back to my apartment. Or my house. Uh, 
These are really tiny doors. Okay, this seems to be going somewhere. Let me check that door first. Oh, leads outside. Okay, let me... Okay, this is where I came in. Jeez, that startled me. <laughs> Alright, got battle time. Hope you should probably be here quick save. So I'd probably die. Whoa! Whoa! There's like two of them! Oh no! Uh, wrong button. Two pops up when she gets grabbed. I should probably uh, heal myself. fighting in hallways because they can just go into the wall and disappear for a while. Hard to get in. Let me just keep that up. There we go!
secret ties with me? Oh, that's that little stone. I forgot to go back to that door. I think I think they only really recoil when you get the the uh, fatal frame when I get the red one because then you can do a combo. Or maybe I just need better film. I don't know. Uh, now I forget where I'm supposed to be going. Where was that? It was downstairs, right? The door with the puzzle. This is second floor. Oh no, I think it's upstairs. Gonna be marked in red. Okay, I guess I'll just find it at some point. <laughs> just wander. That is not a tree root. That is a hand. That is totally a hand. That is a dead body in the wall. where it came through, right? Yeah. Okay. on the other side. Oh, let's walk. Only a man can move it? Mm -hmm. Newt script is engraved on stone slate. Um. I have to do it in order. Oh, I might have to do it in order. Hold on. Actually wasn't what I was going for, but okay. Guess that worked. <laughs> I was gonna try to line name uh, one, two, three in the middle 
portion. Blue. Is there something I can take a picture of? Is it just that stuff down there? Well, it's not flashing blue anymore. Function evade. When you're caught by a ghost, if you're timing... Ooh, nice! I probably won't be able to do that because I suck at shooting ghosts. <laughs> but... Where, where'd he go? Bad one. It's my boyfriend. 
her fiance. Uh. So we got a key for the two mandarins. I'm trying to remember where that door is. Maybe that was downstairs. So she does a head tilt thing when she sees something. Okay, good to know. Okay, right. Don't see the door. Oh, there's the door. I just went by it. 
a secret door? Music all creepy, but I don't see any ghosts. Oh, oh, oh! Is that a ghost? Crawling the ground? Where are you? door. I guess the ghost got tired. I was like, I'm out of here. Oh, I missed it. Dang it. Okay. I'll try and come behind me. I don't think so. Okay. Well, maybe. Don't know how to quick turn.
I killed her. Oh, the kid. I forgot about the kid. It does seem to have more ghost fights. Too short. There we go. right behind me. Let go of my pocket. Are you kidding me? How many ghosts do I have to fight? Do I? Oh, that probably wakes her up. 
You guys leave me alone now? Where did I see the door of the two? Is it over here? Okay, well, I'm gonna stop here for now. And I will continue this tomorrow at 8.30 Pacific Time. So thank you everybody for stopping by. If you missed any of this, it should be uploaded to the Whitney Plays YouTube channel sometime in the next couple hours. Um, so yeah, I'll talk to you all again real soon. I hope you have a great Tuesday. Stay safe and uh, don't let the ghosts get you. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Bye.